Hello, in this video we're going to talk about how to take an old PowerPoint slide deck that you have in a different template that might have old branding um, and then bring it into one of our new um, Payson branded 2014 PowerPoint um, templates that you've just recently saved. So the first thing you're going to do is um, go to the PowerPoint file menu and then go to new from template and in the previous video you learned how to load these templates into um, under templates all my templates and I'm going to go ahead and launch this green GIS and you can see that with every one of these templates we've given you a few um, demonstration slides uh, that show for example a, a bulleted slide layout that's um anything that you click on will show you its title and content slide. If I click on layout I can see what's been surrounded in orange, what the official name of this uh, slide is, slide type or layout type is. Um, the layout on this one is considered a two content layout and then there's also this layout also surrounded in orange is a section header so if you want to divide your um, presentation into sections and then here we also have um, layout it's a picture with caption option and these um, work this one works quite easily all you need to do is drag a picture that you might have saved I'm going to go into my downloads and take a uh, JPEG that I have and I can just completely drag it right on top of that little item there and it gives me a nice um, picture style and then I can go ahead and add a title and add text. So these, um, because what we're going to do is actually clean up an old presentation, just want to give you an idea of how it might look um, in this new template. You can see that the Payson bullet has been taken out of our social media button and been added here uh, just to kind of continue our, our branding and our, uh, our ideas. Okay, but for right now these are superfluous because I'm going to be bringing in, I'm going to be importing in slides from an older presentation that I want to take on this template. So I'm going to cl um, click on slide two and then I'm going to shift click on slide, f slide five, pardon me, hold down the shift key and then click on slide five and I'm going to just hit the delete button on my keyboard. So now what I want to do is import um, slides from another presentation and have them adhere to this template and take on the um, styling of its master slide. So all you have to do is go to the insert menu, say slides from other presentation, and then you can um, go ahead and browse to the location where you want to um, where you might have your old PowerPoints saved. And the nice thing about this process is it'll keep um, your presentation looking this one, this Module 2 PPTX. I'm not changing it in any way. So if you don't like the results, etc., you're keeping this presentation exactly the way it was. So I'm going to say Insert. And then I'm going to see a slide deck with um, the 26 slides that are in this presentation. You can see it's in that white background and I'm going to go ahead and say insert all. I don't want to choose keep design of original slides. The idea is that the design is now taking on the design of our new template. Okay, I'm going to close that and we come in and we're going to come back and talk about this slide and some of the cleanup that we're going to need to do for it and why it came over the way it did, but I'm going to go into slide sorter view and bring up the zoom a little bit and you'll see that now you're seeing those bullets. Um, this actually, this first slide with the white title is how things should look. Um, whenever you want to reapply a slide type, a layout type to a slide, you can click on the slide, come up to layout, and then say reset layout to default settings. And that actually removes the green and the other um, formatting and it, it really adheres back to the master and the and especially the the font of the colors the size of the font etc now you don't want to obviously do these one at a time so I'm now going to hit command a and I'm going to select every slide in my deck and you can see the orange frame around it I've selected everything here 
and now I can come to layout and do that same process reset layout to default settings but it's going to say it's going to look and if it's a um, you know a, a two content or if it's a content with caption or a picture with caption any of these layouts it's going to go back and it's going to apply the attributes from the master so you don't have to do them one by one you can just do a command a select all reset default and now in just a matter of seconds you have completely cleaned up um, the majority of your slides here and it and they're taking on the attributes of the new template um, there's a few places where we can do a little bit more um, and let's go talk about this slide here and why it doesn't look like a title slide the reason being I can come to layout take a look it's and I look at the um, what particular um, layout type it slide layout type it's using and I can see that it is on a blank slide so a blank slide doesn't have any fields um, so it wasn't able to kind of recognize what fields or what the ideas are. So we just have a little bit of work to do here. Um, the other thing I'm going to go ahead and so I'm going to assign the title slide layout. Still doesn't fit quite in. The other thing is this is what I'm talking about one of those legacy logo logos here. Notice how I can just kind of select it. Um, it's because it was laying on top. It wasn't really part of the master slide. You notice here in this template I can't really get to the logo or change it, it's going to stay where it is. So I'm actually going to delete this and get rid of it. And you guys might have, um, if things weren't put into a master, they might be floating on top. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually take this text and move it, I'm going to cut it, and move it into the dedicated um, text box for a title on a title slide. And so I'm going to right click and paste still not quite right but that's okay we're gonna get there um, the other thing I'm going to take is this text module 2 I'm gonna cut that as well you also have the option to just retype all this into your clean title slide but if you want to see I can go ahead and um, bring this in as well I have some ideas about this fall and sep um, and also the date of the lecture so I'm going to delete that information here I have to make it fall 14 anyway and I'm just trying to get rid of any kind of extra spaces what I can do now to make sure that this actually does adhere to the look and field of the master is now that I actually have the text inside this um, the titles I can go back to layout and say reset layout to default styles and then all I have to do is maybe get rid of um, some spaces etc okay anything like that all right now let's talk about headers and footers that's a good place to put your semester information and even your um, perhaps your course ID and of course page numbering so um, this presentation doesn't have any page numbering so I'm going to go to view I'm going to go to header and footer and here I'm going to say start at one the default is not to show it on the title slide but we actually do want to see that so you would need to deselect and then I don't want it to update automatically the date and time because this is a specific lecture. This is module two is going to be discussed on a certain day in your syllabus in your syllabus. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lecture date on there. So it's very clear when perhaps I share this later in um, Blackboard with um, the students. And then in the footer is where I'm going to go ahead and add the course ID. So it will show on every page and the semester. Because then you can just place uh, do this at one time. And then if you reuse this presentation and, and clean it up again for spring of 2014, fall of 2000, and, I mean, sorry, spring of 2015, fall of 2015, you just need to change it one place in the footer and not on multiple slides. Of course, I want to apply to all because I want to work fast and smart. And now if I delete this superfluous first um, slide, You'll see I'm numbering at one, etc. So let's see what this looks like. I'm going to go into um, slideshow mode. Brings in there's animation on that first slide, but after that you can see that it now completely has taken on all the attributes of the new template. I'm going to hit escape. Um, oh, actually, let me go back in there. One more thing. I just want to show everybody when you are doing a presentation. Um, 
found this very helpful in especially a lot of the um, doctoral defenses we've been doing, is that when you're in a presentation and you want to go directly to a particular slide where people have a question, you can hover over this area here, the um, small white paper icon, and there's an option to go to slide, and you can go right away to the slide you want to look at. So we're going to look at that last one, European Union, and you can see um, that maybe I want to clean this up a little bit too because it has a photo. So I'm going to hit escape and I'm looking at this item and it would be nice if this took on that fancy kind of side-by-side -side, um, layout with the picture which is called picture with caption. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this picture uh, because I want to move it around a little bit so I can drag it back in. I'm going to save it into my pictures file and uh, say EU PNG. I'm going to hit save. Okay, done this a few times. Then I'm just going to delete it to kind of get it out of the way. I want to change my layout to picture with caption. Notice that moves everything over and then just like we saw before I can go ahead and do a drag and drop of where my pictures are. So I save that under pictures. Um, I like this view here. Um, it's called EUPNG, and I can just drag it and drop it on the placeholder. And I get a different look here. And if I start from this slide in slide sorter view, I'm sorry, go into slide show view, and then come on, well, there's a little bit of animation that comes along with that as well. So I hope you found this helpful and that you'll be encouraged to kind of update your old presentations to have a new look and feel um, and so your, your students aren't confused about all the different logos and different names, etc. And they're seeing a cohesion with some of the other, our website and other materials that they're seeing from the Payson Center. All right, the next video um, is just going to talk about how we can then take these presentations and easily move them back and forth between other um, templates by working with themes. Thank you for your time.